All right, we're back again, uh, and I got some really big news. Uh, after months of dealing with Saddlemen because of the Springer and being patient and being positive and being understanding, you know, because that stuff really goes a long way, I finally have a replacement seat for the Springer from Saddlemen. I did send them my old one and, you know, got all that worked out. Um, and there it is. There's the new one. And my coworkers are thinking they're funny. So I've already opened it because that's what I do. But I did manage to get it back into the box the same way it came out, miraculously. So this is going to be our mini unboxing. So didn't go with the same seat this time. But I did go with essentially the same one that was on the Fat Boy. It's their Renegade with a knuckle stitch, which I guess I did go the Renegade on the last one. Uh, but this one is technically for a 2017 Heritage. Now, the only reason I went with this one this time around is because my buddy who has a 17 Heritage, we put the seat on my bike and it worked. So. Saddleman doesn't guarantee this will fit. I get it, it covers their butt. I feel confident that it will, but there's only one way to find out. So you and I, we're gonna learn simultaneously. So let me get this unbagged, get the grandpa seat off and out of the way, and we're gonna see if this works any more better than the one that's supposed to fit. All right, grandpa seat off. New seat going on and we're gonna do this live because I have no idea what to expect and I don't want to be the only one surprised one way or the other so all that is exactly the same nice quality as usual what I do appreciate I'm gonna show you guys this with the saddleman here they give you the option they got the two bolts here and here with another set here so you can either run a single bolt setup or a dual bolt setup, depending on what you got going on with your rear fender. Like for me, I've got the single bolt. My buddy's Heritage, he's got the two bolts coming out of the fender. So I appreciate that they give you the options here. That's, that's super slick. So kudos to them for that. So hopefully I can do this one-handed. Well, that's disappointing. Let me fiddle with this a little bit more, but I don't think we're gonna be able to close that up. And I sure as hell am not getting a thumb screw in that. So, one, uh, one sec. Okay, well, I stand corrected. I was able to close the gap. You know, but we're gonna get you in here real close. Obviously, there's still a gap. But it hugs all of the lines really well. Doesn't utilize the side bolts, oh well. Comes up to the tank real nice. And you can still look down there and see the ECU. I just kind of pressed on this and it flexed down. And I could probably snug that up some more I probably will. So I'm just gonna hope this time around that maybe with some more miles, this will relax. Maybe that'll close up some more, but that I'm still gonna say is better than it was. It's not perfect, but it's a 24 year old bike. Saddleman's doing their best. So I'm just gonna call it a win, even though it's not perfect. So I like it, I'm happy. You know, I appreciate, you know, Saddleman taking the seat back off uh, from me, taking it off of me and letting me try this experiment. I don't, I'm not gonna go as far as to say, if you have an older bike, don't use Saddleman but I will strongly urge caution because the last seat that I had said it would fit. I didn't feel like it did. This seat isn't supposed to fit. I feel like it fits better. So if you have the ability to try different seats on from different bikes and see what works, you can take a gamble. It's all on you and see if you can snag a seat from Saddleman that'll work. Now I've never tried La Para. I haven't tried Mustang. I haven't tried Corbin but I've had nothing but good experiences overall 
with settlement and their pricing. You know, so I'm not going to knock them because the Street Glide is going to get a rogue sofa as soon as I save up the money because they're not cheap. Uh, but I'm hoping over the winter time, while this thing is not rideable because of snow, we'll do another video on yet another Saddleman. So that's all I've got. This the I'm, I'm calling this a win. It ain't perfect, but it's a win. Kind of how well what my wife thinks about me. I'm not perfect, but somehow I'm a win. I, I don't know, bless her heart. So I'm not gonna question it. So uh, that's all I've got. Uh, and we've still got something else coming up on the street glide already. I got my new tank badges in. I'm not gonna do an install on that because we already did that on the black street glide. So you're just gonna see the before and the after and, and I'm gonna show you something I won that you might have already seen in the background on a previous video, but uh, I haven't gone over it yet. So stick around. We've got another sponsored install coming up. Still got to do the uh, turn signal relocator on the Springer, but I might have to get some new mirrors for that. I don't know, but uh, that's it. You know, thank you to Saddleman for working with me. That was great. You know, stinks. It took as long as it did, but hey, I think my patience paid out in the end. So questions, comments, concerns, you know where to put them. You know I'll get back to you. And we will catch you guys next time. Later.